Uh, who did you like on radio as a kid? Another great question. Yeah. Um, we talked about the records. We talked about the comedians. Maybe you saw some on TV, but they're... Um, yeah, you you met, you know what, off the air you mentioned before we went on about Larry King and some of the stuff that he was doing when he first started out in, in Miami. Miami. Well, Larry uh, uh, was not, I can't say he was an influence, but I, I, I certainly into my 20s when I first heard Larry, I thought, this is a, this guy is a great overnight radio show. But Larry was in Miami at WIOD. I was also at WIOD years later in the 90s. Larry was there in the 70s okay. and was arrested. And uh, our kept mid his picture. Yeah, our midday host was Neil Rogers. Neil is one of the most brilliant radio talent in the history of the world, and he passed on last December. But Neil would say, I'm one of the few guys left in Miami that knows what a piece of shit Larry is. <laughs> now, I, uh, he would, you know, it's, and Larry will tell you, Neil Rogers is the worst talk radio I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so uh, I actually put Larry King on the air. He thought he was talking to the general manager of WIOD, Bob Green. Right. And, uh, uh, and Larry, uh, and I'll give you that story later, but we had his mugshot. Because we'd found it, so there was Larry's mugshot from kind, got cutting a check or some shit. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> Larry King had been on, um, Don Shula had been on Larry King the night before saying that, well, you know, the Miami Dolphins are having a hard time, which they were. Well, you've been taking a hard bunch of hits from my old station down there, WIOD. Well, you know, they were entitled to their opinion, but blah, 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 blah. So I got from Cheryl, our executive secretary, Larry's home number. Mm -hmm. oh, hi, Larry. Bob Green. Yeah, Bob. Listen, uh, you said some pretty tough things. I'd like to have you on uh, on the Phil Henry show. Uh, we can talk it over. Yeah, sure. I've done, not a problem. So that Monday, oh, Larry comes on. <laughs> Hi, uh, Larry, I wanted you on because you had said some things that <sighs> I thought were very hurtful. And he's like, what, are you going to cry? <laughs> You're crying. Is that it? Why don't you go on Neil Rogers and cry with him? I can't believe this, you know. And then the thing that almost got him to hang up was, you know, I've done charity work all over this city. You raise any money? Oh, okay. Goodbye, Bob. No, goodbye, Phil. Goodbye, Bob. You know. Wow. So, um, of course, it, it's, it's kind of a legendary little clip from uh, Miami days because uh, I was just giving Larry a little bit of a hard time. He's a very myopic guy, and Wind by that I mean he, he can't really see that he's being put on because he's like really Larry King, you know. Right. 